All right, Scott, thank you. And like you said, it's Tuesday, so we have a pet looking for a forever home. And joining me from Little Dogs Big Hearts Rescue is their coordinator, Sue Hempfling. Thanks for talking to us today. Thanks for having us. This is Selena. Selena's one of our old girls. We, we kind of tend towards older dogs. We have a, a soft spot for the seniors. And her owner was no longer able to take care of her. And she was in pretty rough shape. But uh, she's healthy. She's spayed. She's had all of her shots. She's had her dental. She's had blood work, which is normal for an 11-year-old dog. She's actually in pretty good shape. She's very active. She gets along great with other dogs. Um, and uh, she really would like to just be a lap dog. Yeah, I can definitely tell that by just watching you guys interact. You said she's great with other dogs. How is she with children? You know, I don't know that she's ever been around children. She's not exposed to them with us. Um, and the condition she was in, I, I'm guessing that nobody had them around her children. Okay. <laughs> Their children. She was in pretty rough shape. Mm -hmm. And if someone would like to adopt Selena, what do they need to do? They can go to our website, which is uh, littledogsbigheartscom and we have an application that they can fill in. It's just a fill in the blank, but you don't need to leave any blank spots or it won't, we won't get it. It just comes to my email box and my rescue partners. And we visit your home. Uh, we check your vet references. We want to make sure your other dogs are up to date on all their shots and being spayed and neutered, that sort of thing. Um, and make sure the dogs are compatible. And if someone wanted to take the dog for a day or a weekend, do you guys do anything like that just to see how she reacts to a new home? We, we usually do a two-week trial once we've done a home visit and done all the other vetting. I always do a two-week trial because sometimes no matter how hard we all think we've covered all the bases, when the dog's actually in the home, it, there's a, something that's off a little bit and it's just not a good fit. And we always want a good fit, not only for the dog because that's our primary thing, but for the family also. Mm -hmm. And is she house trained? She's pretty well house trained. Um, it's going to always take some getting back to somebody else's schedule. My schedule's a little erratic sometimes, and so you know, somebody with a little more normal schedule would probably could potty train her, get her back into her routine pretty quickly. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for talking to us today. Don't go anywhere. We got more news after the break. Thank you.